MLA citation shortcuts using the Cite and Email tools and Control T in Word. This short video will demonstrate how to use the Cite and Email tools in EBSCOhost and the Control T option in Word to create the hanging indent for your Works Cited page. Let's take a look at the results from an EBSCOhost search and see how this works. When your search retrieves a credible source that you would like to use in an assignment, select the title to view the detailed record. The detailed record has great information about your source, as well as the Tools option on the far right side of the screen. Select Email to send the source to yourself or others. Simply enter your email address. Add a subject and send. The next tool we're going to examine is the Cite tool. Select Cite from the Tools list on the right side to access the citation for your source. Scroll down to MLA and Copy the citation. In a Word document, paste the copied citation using the right-click option. This will paste a clean version of the citation into the document. Once you have the citation pasted, place your cursor after the last word in the first line and then enter Control T. You've now created the hanging indent. It's that simple. Make sure to compare the copied citation to MLA format and make any corrections necessary. Our sample citation is missing the comma after the first author's name. Just revise the citation and you're good to go. If you add each citation as you email your sources, you will have a completed works cited list in no time. You can make the final MLA changes such as adding double spacing and removing the extra lines between paragraphs before turning in your assignment. As always, if you need assistance with your research or MLA citation format, please ask a librarian. We're here to help.